Hey gang, Drex here from DrexFactory.com, and I'm here for you with a review of FuturePoi from Mood Hoops. I've spent some time now playing with both FuturePoi lights as well as FuturePoi remote, and I'm going to cover how they operate, how they feel, and give a brief overview of pros and cons for these. So first and foremost, a little bit of an overview. FuturePoi or Mood Hoops is entry into the steadily growing LED strip poi market. The theory behind these in every set of LED strip poi are that they take advantage of the persistence of vision effect for human sight to create cool and colorful patterns out of the trails that we create by poi spinners by rapidly changing the brightness, color, and which LEDs along the strip are lit at any given moment. For both Future Poi Remote as well as Light, you control the Poi with a single button that's located under the end cap of the Poi. Pressing it once turns the Poi on, and pressing it again turns the Poi back off. Each time you turn the Poi on, they cycle through the modes available in order to let you choose which mode you want to use. There are a couple unique things that Moodoops has done to make these a little different from other LED strip Poi out on the market. The first is that they've distributed the weight so that it's concentrated down near the end of the Poi like it would be with most other practice or fire sets. The second is that the Future Poi Remote actually comes with a remote control that allows more flexible control over the modes, colors, and brightness of the POI. These modes range from displaying simple line-based and monochromatic patterns to more complicated 8-bit imagery, all the way up to rainbow modes that take advantage of the full length of the POI at all times. So what about the remote? Using the remote, you can cycle through the lighting mode, brightness, set a tempo for how rapidly the POI shift through patterns, and access save patterns on the POI. Well, at first I'd assume that it was for changing modes on the fly during a performance, but soon discover that it's easy for a POI to wind up in a spot where the remote can't actually reach it, and things get super weird because the two poi will be out of sync. I found that if conditions were good and there was a direct line of sight, I could change modes on the poi from up to 25 feet away. Despite the remote being of limited use for changing lighting modes during a live performance, I actually like this approach to getting more functionality out of the poi without requiring crazy combinations of button presses to get the patterns that you want. Real quick, I just want to take a second to thank the friends of the channel. Dark Monk specializes in researching and designing spinning arts equipment, personalized to the artist. They want to help you find and design your next prop so it can be an extension of your art. Find them on the web at dark-monk.com. Spinballs feel that the benefits of Poi as an art form are numerous and seeks to promote the art through quality equipment at affordable prices. Find them on the web at spinballspoi.com. Ultra Poi pushes the boundaries of LED skill toys to bring custom lights to the masses, creating professional shows at competitive prices. Find them on the web at ultrapoi.com. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Spinballs, and Ultra Poi for making the videos on this channel possible. Now on with the show. So how do the Poi feel? I will say without hesitation that these are the closest thing to a normal weight distribution and feel that I've ever experienced with a set of LED strip Poi. Unlike every other pair I've ever played with, I didn't have to do any adjustment to compensate for the Poi being too light or distributing the weight too widely along the length of the strip. I can do all my normal tech with these, except for gunslingers for obvious reasons, but all my crazy hybrids and antibrids are a perfect fit for these. As a test, I ran the feature poi lights for a day to see what kind of battery life I could get out of them. I actually stuck them in the back seat on a road trip so I could see when they conked out. It took eight hours for them to finally die out. I had reached my destination and was starting to get worried that I'd have to get to work before they'd finally go out. So let's get into pros and cons. Pros. The weight distribution on these is Perfect. I have never been able to bust out my full range of Poi Tech with Strip Poi before I got a hold of these. For me at least, this is a really big deal and something I can't emphasize enough how awesome it feels. For the Future Poi Remote, the remote control is actually a really great solution for unlocking all the different options available for these Poi without requiring a codebook to understand the arcane combinations of button presses necessary to use them. Now, let's get into cons. First, it should be said that these have the lowest resolution of any set of Strip Poi on the market that I'm aware of. All the patterns are basically 8-bit graphics, and you can sometimes clear clearly see the gaps in the patterns between neighboring LEDs. Next, you may have noticed that I haven't talked at all about software or programming these yet, and that's because there isn't any. The patterns that you can work with are more or less the ones that come included on these POI. You can set them to shift at a given tempo or be brighter or dimmer, but you cannot program a custom image in. Lots of us who use LED strip POI regularly do so for corporate gigs where clients are expecting to get their logos or some other custom imagery programmed into your POI. You can't do that with these, I'm afraid. If you're just roving or adding ambiance, they may be a good fit, but Anything more substantial and you'll probably need a different set of poi. Overall, I love spinning with these. They feel so comfortable and so much like my practice poi that spinning with them really brings out an awesome combination of my favorite tech and beautiful trails. The biggest flaw in them is the lack of programmability. These are great for play on your own or corporate gigs where you don't need custom motifs in your poi. Future poi remotes are available for $349 and future poi light are available for $199 both at moodhoops.com. One quick point to clarify, only the Future Poi remote comes with the remote control. The Future Poi Lite do not, and they can only have their modes changed by pressing the button on the end of the Poi. Thanks so much to Mood Hoops for sending me these to review, and thank you all for watching. Enjoy the flow, and peace.
Hey there, thanks so much for watching my video. If you got anything out of it, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel to help it grow. Special thanks to all of my wonderful backers on Patreon. You guys are the ones that make these videos possible. If you're not a current backer and would like to sign up to support my channel, please visit patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi. Thanks so much in advance.